Hello, Maddie from Hello Interloper here. Today I will teach you how to download and uh, put spore creatures into your game because unfortunately a lot of the files that I recovered uh, from my old computer from uh, I think 2008 when I first got spore, uh, unfortunately I can't upload them onto the Sporepedia. So what I've done is I've taken all my creations and put them into Google Drive for you guys to download whenever you want because unfortunately when you upload something onto Sporepedia, if it hasn't been downloaded for a certain amount of time, they do delete it off of their servers. So unfortunately a lot of things that I previously had uploaded are now off of the Sporepedia. I can't re-upload them. So uh, the only way for you to get them is for me to put them somewhere else and for you to download them manually. Now, downloading Spore Creatures onto your game is kind of strange because rather than having an actual file like a save game file or something um, there are actually PNG files that you put into the Spore game. It's kind of weird because PNG file most people know that as an image file. It doesn't really seem like something that could uh, possibly be converted into a 3D thing but somewhere in there there's some encrypted data that turns it into a 3D model. I have no idea how it works. All I know is it's pretty darn convenient because uh, PNG files are very small and I can upload a whole bunch of them to Google Drive without worrying about uh, filling up my maximum data or whatever. So um, I'm going to teach you guys how to actually put this into your Spore game. It's actually really easy. Um, so all you'd actually have to do is put one of these in a folder or on your desktop. I'm using the desktop just for uh, make this easy basically. Um, so what you just do, you'd right click download any of these files and uh, pretty simple. So I went to the Sporepedia since I already have all of my files on my Spore game to get a file that I do not have. So uh, I took this guy, the Untumbla by Odinost and he makes some, or she, I don't know, makes some really crazy creatures. So if you haven't checked them out on the Sporepedia, you really should. They make very creepy and uh, unconventional creatures, just things that you don't usually see in Spore. So um, if you were to download from the Sporepedia and not my Google Drive, you would click here and drag to your desktop then drag into a Spore creator. So uh, I've already downloaded that. I'm going to show you guys my desktop and here's the file over here. And now this is when things get a little weird. Uh, you just literally drag it and make sure you have Spore open. I drag it onto my taskbar into Spore and you'll see I'll have a little plus sign near my cursor. I just drag it in and then would you look at that? It's there in my Spore game. And look at that creepy thing, huh? That's just crazy. I gotta try to make some kind of crazy things too. This, this is pretty wacky. <laughs> So, anyway, through that method, you can uh, download all the things that I uh, recently have either uh, displayed or uh, am going to display on videos soon. And remember, I usually release three videos every week, but if you want to go ahead and download things that haven't been featured yet, you can also do that um, if you find the folder, but I'm going to be... Uh, you know, showcasing them properly on videos. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy and find this easy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask something in the comments. And uh, hopefully you guys will have fun with this. <laughs>